Hi Cancerians, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all my subscribers and if you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment if the reading resonates with you and don't forget to like the video and share the video. It really does help our channel out. Okay, so with all that being said, I hope you're doing really, really well. And let's begin with your reading. So Cancerians, please, what is it they need to know for their highest good? Okay. Daughter of Stones, this is the... Princess of Stones, Princess of Coins, Justice, the Seven of Coins, underneath the deck, stunning, you've got the Ten of Coins. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. All right, the Daughter of Stones is the page of coins in the traditional deck. So you could be dealing with a daughter for some of you, but the Princess of Stones is all about receiving some form of good news. So good news is coming in for you guys. It's an opportunity that is being offered to you. So there may be a message that is coming in for you that is... An offer of some kind in the material realm so this could have to do with good news about your health it could have to do with as I say some form of opportunity so it could be some form of job offer or anything like that um, good news about your finances then we have justice some of you could be dealing with something legal over there perhaps you're getting good news about some form of legal uh, battle that's going on but or has been going on but it also just means that the scales are being balanced in your life and good karma is coming in for you so really nice to have that good news coming in and the justice card right next to it so the scales are being balanced and you're receiving some form of good karma and some form of good news then we have the seven of coins you're reassessing things and you are looking at things and deciding whether the hard work that you have put into something is going to bear fruit for you, is going to be worth the effort. You know, something is growing slowly and you've put a lot of hard work into it, but it requires nurturing. You know, if you're growing a tree, you have to give it sunlight, you have to give it water, um, nurture it. And it doesn't grow in a day. It takes time for that little seed to grow into a tree. So you're just reassessing things and looking at things and seeing if that hard work that you put into something is actually going to bear fruit for you and if it is worth the effort. And then, of course, the Ten of Coins, which is richness in this deck, and it is all about that huge wealth. So it looks like some form of success is coming in for you and you're going to be receiving the rewards for your labor here it is big wealth this card um, it could have to do with families it can also indicate that you're working in a family business perhaps it can also indicate an inheritance so take it as it resonates but it's a lot to do with stability and security within your financial life and in your family life in your home life so a lot of wealth and you have hit or you are going to hit a really big milestone here let's just get a few more messages from you uh, for you from this deck We've got the Knight of Cups. So this is Mr. Romance. So 
there is romance on the cards for you. This could be good news that is coming in for you from a romantic partner. You know, he's going all out in this card. You can see, you know, he's got everything here. And it could even mean that there's a message coming in for you to go out on a romantic date of some kind. Some form of uh, invitation is being offered to you there from a romantic partner. We've got the king, uh, the knight, yeah, the king, sorry, the king of wands coming out in the reverse here. So underneath the justice card, this could have been someone that you were dealing with. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. This is someone who is the owner of his own business. It can also mean that some of you are experiencing a little bit of burnout and some form of health um, issues because of this legal battle, perhaps, that you've been going through. So you really need to look after your health there. Um, you may be feeling really low on energy. If this is someone that you've been dealing with, it could be someone who is too much in their ego and quite arrogant. In the reverse, he's quite an arrogant character. And it can also be someone who is very explosive in their emotions. You know, he's a fire sign. He's got all that fire there. So it could be someone who is just um, some form of like egomaniac. And he has these explosive emotions. And perhaps this is the legal battle. You may have been going through some form of legal battle with this King of Wands. So, you know, if it's not you that is feeling really burnt out from this uh, legal battle that you've been going through, then it could be someone that you have been dealing with there. Okay. Yeah, we've got the Ace of Cups coming out in the reverse. So I'm just seeing that you guys are feeling emotionally drained. This could have to do with a love partner because the Ace of Cups upright is, you know, that uh, that huge love that is in your heart. And being in the reverse, it just looks like there is some form of perhaps love relationship, especially with that Knight of Cups coming out, that is not working out. We've also got the King of Wands in reverse. So this could be someone, as I say, that is really um, too assertive, too much in their ego. And perhaps this has totally emotionally drained you. But I am seeing some form of love relationship that perhaps has um, lost its spark. And it's making you feel really burnt out and emotionally drained. Okay. Because this love partner might be too much in his ego, too arrogant. Okay, underneath the deck, we've got the Eight of Swords. This could be within a marriage for some of you with the Ten of Coins over there. The Eight of Swords, as you can see, is feeling trapped. So perhaps you are feeling trapped within this relationship. But something is making you feel stuck. And it looks like it could be to do with either a family issue or to do with a love relationship there. You're just feeling completely trapped in this. We've got the nine of coins coming out underneath that. And this is someone who is usually single. So some of you could have gone through a divorce or a breakup in a relationship. Because this nine of pentacles is someone who is usually single. Your finances are looking on the up and up here though. Because with the ten of coins and the nine of uh, coins over here. This shows financial independence so you are financially well off in this situation okay or you will be financially well off your finances are looking really good so you could be going from a committed love relationship to being single for some of you out there leave me a comment if this is resonating with you at all okay we've got the king of swords so the King of Swords could be a lawyer that you you de dealing with, working through this whole, uh, some form of court case or some form of uh, legal battle here. 
this is someone who is a professional in their field as i said he could be a lawyer this could also be um someone who is leading with their head and not with their heart so this again could be a love partner in your life who is quite intelligent but perhaps quite sharp with their words they're not heart-based and perhaps they are a little bit arrogant here um so take it as it resonates but this is someone who is highly intelligent who is a good communicator at the same time there might be some form of head-based communication that is happening here this might even be you cutting this partner out of your life for some of you take it as it resonates so perhaps you are receiving some form of love offer from this person but you are communicating using your mind using your logic and not using your heart because the heart chakra here seems to be closed off all the love is sort of draining away that's what i'm seeing so this could be you that is having some form of sharp conversation with this love partner or it could be a lawyer that you're dealing with okay we've got the three of swords coming out in the reverse so upright as you can see this is a lot of heartache so really to me this looks like a love relationship or a marriage of some kind that you are going through this legal battle with <clears throat> because it seems that the love is now being drained from this relationship but with this being in the reverse it's telling me that you are getting or you will be getting over this heartache you will be healing this heart of yours and with the justice card upright there as i said this is a uh, good karma coming to you so you're going to be able to heal this heart of yours perhaps it's really been draining you this heartache that you've been going through as i said emotionally and physically and now you're going to be healing from this and we've got the four of wands coming out again well four of wands coming out should i say you may be moving to a new home once this legal battle has been completed okay so let's just see if there's anything else that you need to know here anything else that our cancerians need to know please For some of you, this could be a romantic partner that is helping you through a legal battle here. So again, just take that as it resonates. The Ace of Wands. So it could mean that the passion is coming back into your relationship and for others of you this is a new start so it could be that you very well are moving to a new home because it can indicate travel of some kind um, traveling to a new home perhaps making a fresh start for others of you this could just be the spark the fire coming back into you after you have been feeling drained and kind of energyless and perhaps this has um depleted you and brought some health issues but with the ace of wands coming out there it's saying that if there have been any sort of health issues or you've been feeling really burnt out you're going to get the spark coming back to you again you're going to feel that uh energy again that good health that fire is going to come back into you it's also the spark of inspiration so you could be getting some really good ideas and you are now starting to put them into action okay underneath the deck we've got the queen of cups so this is the heart chakra again this could also be a love partner you know roles can be reversed so take it as it resonates but I'm feeling that this is you, Cancerians, because you are a water sign. Um, so the Queen of Cups is the healer of the tarot. 
So you are healing something here. You might be going to see a healer of some kind, but it's come out upright, and I really like that after the Ace of Cups has been in reverse, in reverse because it looks like you are replenishing your energy uh, again, and you're bringing back, and this is bringing back the spark to your life again. You're feeling like you've got a lot more energy, and you're going to be feeling um, healed from this whole thing. So really nice there. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords coming out. So you are at the end of a very difficult situation. But you're at the end of that now and you're starting a brand new beginning. So something has been really difficult. You've been going through a lot of heartache. You've been feeling really depleted and low on energy. But now you're at the end. You're healing from this and you're going to get that uh, fire back in you. That energy is going to come back to you. After this really, really difficult situation, this difficult ending, you're healing from this whole thing now. So I apologize for the uh, noise in the background. Let's see if we can carry on. I'm actually just going to pause it for a bit because it is quite loud. Okay, guys, let's see if, uh, let's hope that doesn't carry on. Okay, just carrying on. But let's just see if we can get you a Atlantis, uh, a Wisdom of Avalon card. Okay, the dragon. So this is all about power and strength. So this is what I'm seeing. You have got the strength to get through all of this. And you are going to get the fire back in you. You're going to have that energy. And you're going to be feeling powerful again. Where once... You have been feeling drained with that king of uh, wands being in the reverse. You're going to get your power back. You've got the strength to get through this whole thing. Wealth. Okay, so the ten of coins and the nine of pentacles, again, is indicating that you're getting some form of wealth. It just indicates that huge wealth is coming into your life, especially with that ten of coins there. I really apologize for this noise. It's Sunday and everybody wants to kind of um, do the building and all their things on their homes. Okay. Okay, so we've got birth, rebirth. So this could indicate, it's like the death card in the original tarot. So it could indicate this thing, this relationship is coming to an end. And for others of you, it's indicating that there can be a rebirth in this relationship. I'm going to just pause it again. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's quickly try again. So let's see what the angels have to say to you now. Cancerians, please, what else do they need to know? Past life issue. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. So you could have had a past life with this uh, love partner, or this could just mean that there is some form of past issue that is uh, happening in your life at the moment. And you need to just release this now. Learn from it, release it, and heal from these experiences that you've been going through. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Now we have the dragon. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. So that's an absolutely beautiful card. So it's okay. For you to be powerful. That's what I'm getting. Look deeper. So there may be something that is. Uh, that you can't see at the moment. So there's something. There's an issue. That you need to look into. You need to look deeper into. To find the answer. Either something is being hidden from you here. And you need to look into it. You don't have all the information. Um, at the moment. 
Okay, so let's just see. Let's just get an inner peace card for you. Okay, let's just get this one. My mind is at peace. A mind at peace. A mind focused on not harming others is stronger than any physical force in the universe. Okay, so my mind is at peace. So let's get one last card for you now. Let's see what that is. Okay, you've got two that have flipped out. So lapis lazuli, or lazuli, I see things as they are. So opening your third eye. Moldavite, I connect to universal energy freely. Okay, so that's a lovely one as well. Okay, guys, please, as I say, leave me a comment if this has made any sense to you. And I'm sending you so much love. And I will hopefully see you all again in the next one. Bye.